Fleetwood Mac, multi-platinum recording artists and rock and roll superstars. Now the Mac is back with a new album, a new tour and a whole new sound. Got more balls, I think, you know. <laughs> VH1 hits the road with the band as they tackle the unanswered questions of their past. I can't say it's closure, but I would say it's the opening of closure. We'll see the band backstage, in the studio, and in the raw. No beating off allowed. Mick Fleetwood unveils his never before seen home movies. Literally, it was like the basement tapes, you know. Stevie Nicks throws open the door of her closet full of famous fashions. Guy wore black because, as we all know, black makes you look skinny. And Lindsey Buckingham gives a first look at his documentary about the making of the new album, Say You Will. He's going to hate it because I wrote it. This is VH1 All Access, Fleetwood Mac. Are you on there, VH1? Make sure the guitar is nice and loud. Because I hear the voice, I, I don't hear the guitar so much. That's great. If you're ready, we're ready. Seeing Fleetwood Mac gearing up for a concert these days is like opening a musical time capsule. It's been almost three decades since they first ruled the music world. It was crazy, and there were stories, and there were stories we can't even tell you on TV. I feel like this is just the same. Could it be any the fact that Fleetwood Mac is back together at all is a testament to the power of their music and their faith in each other. These are people that have been absolutely in love with one another. The reunited band's first album of new material in 16 years is called Say You Will. Peacekeeper is their first single. Peacekeeper, take your time. While the sound is new, some things remain the same. He's going to hate it because I wrote it. And this time, cameras were rolling for the whole process. He's going to hate it. He's going to think, oh, everybody wants it to be Stevie's thing. I didn't know that it would still be as volatile as it has always been in the past. It's not because you wrote it. It just has a certain feel to it. What did it cause? In my mind, it caused an incredible record to be made. The band's fifth member, keyboardist, and sometime songwriter Christine McVie decided to sit this one out. Did you see that card from Christine? didn't like the touring and she didn't like living in LA. I think the quakes got to her. She was just nervous. Just a little flowers and a little card from her. Just love the album. Wishing you guys all the best. Class act. With Christine out of the mix, the band would break out of their mold and explore new musical territory. Just got more balls, I think, you know. <laughs> and it gave us a more aggressive, uh, masculine, if you will, uh, sound. The good news is her leaving forced Lindsay and I to go back to really singing together like we did before we ever met Chris and John and Mick. Well, that was good. As the Say You Will tour kicked off, Stevie Nicks and Lindsay Buckingham shared a tender kiss on stage. It's a touching reminder that for nearly 30 years, Fleetwood Mac has endured as a family <laughs> through both good times and bad. But this family's dramas have been played out in the public from the very beginning. We are an intense group of people. Lindsay Buckingham and Stevie Nicks hooked up with Fleetwood Mac in 1974. 
The band's self-titled debut album hit stores in 1975, selling a million copies. You can go your own way. It was during the recording of their follow-up album, Rumors, that these five musicians discovered that making music can get messy. Rumors was when everything got really crazy. Hey! Married for eight years, John and Christine were going through a divorce. Mick was splitting from his wife, and Stevie and Lindsay were in the middle of their own bitter breakup. Throw in drugs and alcohol, and it was a combustible mixture that took a shattering emotional toll on everyone. Are you kidding me? There's no way this bunch can possibly get through this and make music. We finished it. <laughs>
I tend to stick with black because it's just much, much easier for me. You know, people, the whole thing about me being a witch is like, you know, well, no, that's not really the reason why I wore black. I wore black because, as we all know, black makes you look skinny. Da da. As soon as I start wearing colors, I start to have to be worrying, does the gold dust cape go with the purple outfit? You know, or does the, you know, if you're wearing red and white, does this look like you're in the USC marching band? As I get older, I don't want to think about what I'm wearing. On the Say You Will tour, Stevie sometimes changes three to four times in a show. It is very frightening when you're only halfway through a change and the song is starting, yeah, and you're like screaming. I have to be out there, you know, I can't be, I, the song is starting. Coming up, all that's new is old again, as Fleetwood Mac hits the studio to record their new album. This is not about art, this is about finances. And Lindsey Buckingham's Labor of Love, a behind-the-scenes documentary that goes deep inside Fleetwood Mac's inner sanctum. I knew you would like it when it was when I was called and asked about it. All right, well then think of something else. Plus, backstage on opening night. I feel like one of those rats on a wheel or something. As Mick and the band bear all. It's a form of self-degradation, I think. When all access Fleetwood Mac continues. be able to come back and, and, and rejoin these people and have the chemistry still be there without the, all the other stuff. After the phenomenal success of Rumors in 1977, Fleetwood Mac went on to record nine subsequent albums. But it's taken 16 years for them to reunite for a new studio album. Buckingham wasn't going to let this moment go unrecorded. He brought on a film crew to capture every moment of the historic sessions for a behind-the-scenes documentary. Maybe we were together in another life. It humanizes the whole trip in a way that can only be seen visually. What is Lots that? Of Spirit catcher. Spirit catcher. The film crew was there every day. From the day I got out of the car where we made this record until today. The cameras would capture every conflict. He's going to hate it. If I'm the one who's going to be perceived as the troublemaker, so be it. It's, why should it be any different now? <laughs> and every moment of comic relief. <laughs> Humor was necessary to break the tension. The band hasn't recorded a full studio album since their bitter split following 1987's Tango in the Night. It's the conclusion of all the denial that we had to deal with in terms of our personal lives. The Say You Will sessions began in the summer of 2001 in a rented mansion in the heart of Los Angeles. The worst thing was the drive. You got to drive. I did 405 for an hour and a half. The band bonded for half a year, recording new material written by both Stevie and Lindsay. <laughs> It was totally about Fleetwood Mac. It was like, you guys weren't there, but you were there, in fact. What well, you don't realize, Steve, we've just spent the last six months trying not to be ourselves. <laughs> As always, the music and the confrontations were fueled by emotion. And if you haven't noticed, I am so thrilled to, I don't even want to, I just make me cry. I thought maybe we would have settled down a little bit more and we're older so we're going to be cooler and calmer and we're not going to go to those places that we have gone always and in fact that's not true i knew you would like it when it was when i was calling about it so, all right well then think look, of something else i've known stevie since i was 16. so there's a lot of history there i think if i was 80 years old and he was 79 years old i'll be on my walker and i'll be swinging my walker at him i cannot say i have an ally in the band right now no the video intimately documents the latest musical chapter for a legendary and timeless rock and roll band it also unflinchingly records the words and actions of two former lovers moving towards compromise and reconciliation but most of all friendship 
I can't say it's closure, but I would say it's the opening of closure. Can we stop playing soon? Taking Say You Will from the studio to the stage required weeks of work to get the sound and the technical details just right. Letting go of the old is always hard, my man. Mick Fleetwood has let go of a lot from the old days, especially his hard partying ways. And he still hasn't lost his status as the band's most eccentric member. No beating off allowed. Mick's stripping down in order to suit up in the high-tech synthesizer vest he plays on the new tour. It's a form of self-degradation, I think. I'm missing it like crazy. This is what I, I have to do super quick, get the, the vest on, and then the vest has another pad that goes down in the crutch. <laughs> Behind the pad is a huge wad of sponge, and if that sponge is not in place, Lord have mercy on my wicked soul. when I get a chance to play a guitar. That's Lindsey Buckingham's job. He travels with 16 guitars, hundreds of watts of amplifier power, and absolutely no picks. I think when we joined Fleetwood Mac, they sort of tried to get me to use a pick because they thought it was more effective, and uh, obviously I resisted that. Ah. It just works. And so it becomes, you know, something which I can call my own to a certain degree. That's the sound check, is it? Yes, it is. Dismissed. Coming up, rehearsals are over. It's showtime. Fans get their first look at the new Fleetwood Mac. I got to say, this room looks pretty big. <laughs> There's nights when it's just, geez, does it get any better than this? And the band feels the heat as they prepare to play their new songs for the first time live. New songs aren't easy to play, and new songs sometimes aren't easy for the audience. When All Access, Fleetwood Mac continues. Hear more from the band. Buy their CDs. And test your smarts with the Fleetwood Mac trivia quiz. Go to VH1.com. With just hours to go before Fleetwood Mac kicks off their 2003 Say You Will tour, the nervous energy is building backstage. I feel like uh, one of those uh, rats in a, on a wheel. Normally I go pacing up and down corridors. I gotta say this room looks pretty big. <laughs> Make sure the guitar is nice and loud. But there are a few last minute details to be worked out before the doors open and thousands of fans come streaming into the arena. Ah! What's left of my right hair? Now. What's left of my hair is gone. Time for last minute fittings. I feel like I'm uh, about to be tortured in Braveheart. And predictions. Probably three shows in, these nails will all be gone. They'll all be shorn off. It's the first time that Fleetwood Mac has played in public together for five years. You're asking for trouble, buddy. And the first time they'll perform music from Say You Will for a live audience. Dead man walking. They're worried about the songs, how they'll play them, and how fans will react. New songs aren't easy to play, and new songs sometimes aren't easy for the audience. So that takes a little while, and you're nervous about it. There's only 10,000 when we last saw it, but it's a full house now. This is good. But when the lights go down and the roar of the crowd fills their ears, the amazing journey of Fleetwood Mac, some 30 years in the making, comes full circle. It's, it's Fleetwood Mac. Jeez, does it get any better than this? Maybe we were together in another life. 
we may be, in some ways, may be making the best music of our lives, but what's under that is the tenderness and the care that still exists and somehow managed to survive through all of those uh, times and through all of uh, the twists and turns that we, we have taken. Goodbye, VH1. Now I say goodbye to you. No more coming in there. Sixteen candles have driven all access so massively into jail. Ultimate albums and the fabulous lives of hip hop Babylon, the 200 greatest icons. Summer series makes me feel fine. All this summer long on VH1.